Good afternoon, everyone. Well, if I said it was cold in Wales today, um, wow, it's cold today. And I'm a little bit excited, I guess, to show this D55. So she's been up for sale on eBay, and I haven't um, I had old pictures on there and hadn't managed to do a a video walk around for her because another collector had messaged and said he was going to come over and I hadn't dealt with him before and he said he was interested in um, in buying the saw and that was for today and then he hasn't bothered turning up and in the meantime because this one has been on display in my collection for oh, an absolute age um, and I'm a huge Clinton fan, so this is D55, an original D55, 73 cc's, um, late 50s, 1959, and has got a gorgeous, um, a gorgeous bar and chain setup. So original 18-inch bar with this gorgeous kind of like black finish, and this is running a an original half inch pitch chain and the chain is in spectacular condition so the long story short was that um, you know I'd like to at least have a look at the saws if someone's really genuinely interested and so I had a bit of time I have taken out one of the old champion plugs that was in here and put in one of the uh, very popular B6HS, so one of the steel plugs for their early 1960s 70cc engines for like the 07 and the 07S. Changed the fuel line and cleaned out the tank and took out the jets and just gave a sympathetic blowover and put some carburetor cleaner on. Unusual carbs on the Clintons, the early saws, that's a Carter carburetor. And I guess also I've had a number of questions from people on eBay asking, you know, is the saw seized? Is that why it's not running? Um, you know, what problems do you have with the saw? But really this saw came from a, a really lovely guy who had a huge number of saws and I just simply haven't had any time to get around to looking at it. So with the extra time I have today, I've put on just a, a, a makeshift fuel line for now because the really it wants a one of the nylon covered nitrile lines, one of the vintage lines would be nice with, with hose clips on both the connectors um, and a bit of joke. genuinely does start and so I hope that answers a lot of the questions for a few of the people that have been um, interested in her on eBay. She does start and definitely needs obviously working on. Presumably the carburetor wants stripping out and I don't think she's happy to, to idle but she certainly runs and it's ever so interesting. There are um, so although there are 73 cc, only rev up to, what are these, around the four and a half, I don't even think they're up to 5,000 RPM, I think they're only 
like four and a half or four seven or four thousand eight hundred rpm so really low revving and in this setup then with the 18 inch bar and a half inch pitch chain i think way around the 20 24 and a half pound mark i think the power head on its own is 22 and a half pounds and they're just a gorgeous piece of history if any of you want to read about clinton saws it's it really is fascinating history so why don't i grab the camera quickly and do a little baby walk around Try not to knock the camera off, as I always do. So the so the solid nose bar has got excellent tip symmetry. It's these huge teeth, half inch pitch. Often the chain adjusters can be broken, and that's um, complete and okay. Clutch obviously working. Little air pipe which goes to the air filter is um, needs fixing. In fact, it should have a little clip on there. So, clip missing for the rubber hose for the air housing. With bearing in mind, obviously, the fuel tap and everything working. Manual oiler working. Let's go all the way around. Little serial number plate present. No brakes on any of the housings. The shroud, all really good. These are really often either missing or broken, particularly this lug on the on this aluminium closure for the spark plug. Full start housing. It's got a little oil or grease spot, so I put some Oregon red, red lube and grease in there. There's this. At first glance, you could really easily be mistaken looking at the carburetor to think it was an an early Tillotson, but that's actually they're called Carter the carburetors. So all metal construction, Magalo construction, even the throttle trigger, and all the way around. And the underside. Okay, guys, I shall put the camera back in the mount. And I'll show her running, hopefully, one more time. So this one was up for sale simply because she wasn't running and I have uh, I have about 20 Clintons and so I have I think three variations of the D55 and this was just a duplicate but she's in terms of completeness she's absolutely gorgeous just absolutely gorgeous just no damage as far as I can see um, almost all the correct nuts and bolts by the look of it all the way around so running then open the fuel tap bit of choke um, kill switch that way so if any of you are interested please bear in mind you know that she's definitely going to need the fueling sorted out properly and that's probably going to mean stripping out the Carter carburetor and maybe giving that a, a complete service.
Hey guys, there she is. What a beautiful piece of history. So she's up to up to 61 years old and just simply stunning. Guys, thanks for watching. That's my Clinton original D55. Bye for now.